Got a bunch of stuff for you guys this week. Number one, a brand new video service that lets you just upload and share pretty much instantly. No account needed. We'll talk about that new service. Also, YouTube made some changes to how we can now manage our comments, except for it's missing one very important feature. And we'll talk about that and many other things, including why I like Vimeo more and more and more. That's coming up. Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer and it's Tuesday, which means it's time to look at some online video news from last week and talk about the implications it has for us as creators here on YouTube and any other platform that we're working on. And one of the new platforms I want to introduce you guys to, in fact, I haven't seen anyone talk about this, so I do believe I'm the first one to kind of put this out there, is vid.me. Now I know there are lots of new video platforms kind of springing up all the time. Some of them trying to compete directly with YouTube, others just kind of trying to take a new spin on online video. And that's what I kind of think vid.me is doing or me for sure. If you're familiar with the photo sharing site Imager, basically you can just upload a photo and don't need any account, you need, need anything special, you just upload it and boom you get a really short URL that you can instantly share and post pretty much wherever you want. And that is exactly what Vidme is doing as well. You can just use your iPhone, use their app, or you can use their website, just upload a video, no account registration needed, and boom, and within like a couple of seconds, then you have your little short URL, which you can then quickly share to Facebook or Twitter or any other social network that you would like. I decided to give it a little test because I thought it might be a valuable service for those times when I just quickly want to tweet out a video or I just quickly want to share something and I don't want to have to upload it to YouTube, I don't want to send to my subscribers. I don't want to like publish it on a website. I just really quickly want to up upload a video and have a short URL that I can just send people to. This is what that service is for. And so I made a quick little video with it using my iPhone. The link is below. And basically all I'm doing is giving you guys a tour of my basement here, including what is that direction. So if you want to see the rest of my basement and the stuff I usually have to clean up, with all my kids toys and stuff before we get started click that link below go to vidme and you can watch my video and check out the service for yourself it was recently announced that youtube and dreamworks will be partnering up to make some special content specifically for the youtube spotlight channel which is youtube.com slash youtube which has about 20 million subscribers and what it sounds like they're going to try to do is create a show called youtube nation which covers basically all the stuff that's been like super popular so it's taking some elements from ray william johnson's equal three and then it's going to take some elements from like what's trending and maybe some elements from tmz and Kind of just take it all and just mash it into a daily video on that channel. The show is supposed to launch sometime by the end of this month, although it hasn't been officially announced. I have two thoughts about this. One is that this could actually be like really big with DreamWorks involved, and they're going to a channel that already has a massive subscriber base. So it could actually do really well as a show. But then the second thing I'm thinking is that YouTube, traditionally in the past with their other video efforts, has been less than stellar for some reason. Actually, I have a lot of thoughts about why, but we'll have to see how this show goes. And if you're not already subscribed to YouTube's official channel, you might want to subscribe there to kind of get a taste and a flavor of what YouTube themselves are now trying to do on YouTube. One big announcement that came out for YouTube last week that I know a lot of us are going to get very excited about and then quickly get angry about is that YouTube has conveniently put all of our comments under one place. Now just log into your YouTube channel and go to youtube.com slash comments or look at the comments section under the community tab on your channel. And there they make a nice organized list of you of all your recent comments across all all your videos on your entire channel. They give you some moderation controls there and at the top they kind of organize it for you based on published comments, pending comments, and comments that are marked as spam. So when I first saw this I was like yes this is what I've been waiting for. I've kind of just started recently getting used to all the notifications in Google Plus and I've been starting to manage them and use them actually pretty effectively surprisingly. I'm getting used to that and so when I saw this I was like oh perfect. I don't have to filter through all the Gmail or the Google Plus stuff. I can just get straight to the comments stuff and there is no way to respond to comments in the new system. They give you a handy link where you can click it and go to the video watch page and then I'll have like the linked comment that you clicked on will be right there at the top so you can kind of find it easily and reply. But why couldn't they have just made it possible for us to reply just in line right on this new tool that they just created? I'm sure they must have a reason why because like there's no other reason I could think of why they kind of accidentally left out that feature or forgot to include it or something. So there must be a reason. I don't know what it is. If you guys have any ideas why they would admit something like that, comment below and let us know. But as a little side note, another feature that I know a lot of us have been waiting for with comments is the ability to reply and respond to them via mobile devices. And unfortunately, just going to youtube.com slash comments on your channel through a mobile device will just actually just show the desktop version of that page. But if you actually go to the watch page for your videos on your mobile device and you look at the comments, if you actually tap on the comment, you 
want to reply to, a couple buttons show up beneath it, and the first one there is a comment reply button. Just tap on it and start typing in your reply, and now you can start keeping up with comments while you're on the go. It's not really the most easiest system to navigate because the, like, the notifications you get don't go directly to it, but if you just actually go to your latest video, maybe start com like scrolling through comments, you can just manually keep up with some of them that way. Three quick links that I've included for you guys down there. Number one is I am really starting to like Vimeo more and more and more. They recently updated their new player, which means it like loads way faster. And by way faster, I mean like I was shocked. Like I clicked on play and it was like, boom, it like started playing like almost before I clicked. It was like crazy. And if you guys are trying to make some premium content that you intend to monetize on your website or something, well now pro users can also do that. You just embed the video right there on your website and people can watch the trailer. If they want to buy right there inside the video player, they can just enter in their credit card information and then actually rent or purchase your full video right there. Just overall, the updates that Vimeo is making are actually really slick. I'm really starting to like that platform more and more. Not necessarily from an audience development standpoint, but mostly just from like a really great platform to host and your content if you don't need like the audience development stuff that you get here on YouTube. You can use the link below to check out more about Vimeo's updates. Another tool that is linked up down there is from Moz.com and they had a post this past week that gives you a step-by-step -step process for how to do keyword research for your videos. Well, for them it's for your website, but you can just take the exact same principles and apply it to your videos. And the reason why I think this process is important because I know a lot of us actually start with an idea. We want to make this video. We go and make that video and then we start trying to think about stuff like, okay, how am I going to give it, a, like what title am I going to give it, what description text am I going to write, what tags am I going to use, what keywords am I trying to rank for for this video, and it's kind of like backwards. So instead of trying to make the content and then trying to fit a round peg into a square hole, <laughs> instead look at your hole and say, okay, I, there's a big open space in search for this that I really want to position one of my videos to be there. And so then you kind of see with the keyword research, you do that data first, and then you go and make a video that would fit that hole perfectly. So long story short, do your keyword research search first and then make a video that matches that and read the process below. Hopefully that'll help you understand a little bit better about that. And the last link down there is about an update that's coming to Indiegogo. If any of you guys are planning on doing any crowdfunding campaigns, well, you might want to consider Indiegogo a little bit more than you have before because now they're actually letting you run campaigns on your own website using their platform. So that's going to be like a huge deal, I think, for a lot of creators who don't just want to send people to someone else's platform but actually want to keep them on their own website or send traffic to their own website where they can actually control the experience a bit more, maybe feature other stuff. So if that's you, check out that link below and maybe that'll have some stuff that'll be interesting and helpful for you. I would really love to hear you guys' thoughts on pretty much everything we talked about today. The new Vimeo player, if you've checked it out and what your thoughts are on Vimeo versus YouTube. Uh, what do you think YouTube's new show is going to be like? YouTube Nation, what are your expectations and thoughts on that whole thing and the partnership with DreamWorks and all the other stuff we covered here today. If you have like tips for keyword research or whatever, all that below. And the rest of you guys, make sure you go check out those comments and I will probably be moderating them from the new youtube.com slash comments so let us know what you think about that as well if this is your first time here we'd love to have you subscribe every tuesday we do just what you saw here talk about online video news and the implications it has for us as creators and i'm talking really fast right now and i know a lot of you guys are going to comment and tell me to slow down but i can't because that's how i talk to a camera <sighs> on Wednesdays, we give you guys some YouTube tips, advice, and suggestions, and ideas. And, and then on Thursday, we do some YouTube Q&A with you guys, because I really believe that a lot of you guys have messages that could really change people's lives and make this world a better place. If people could just hear what you have to say. So thank you for letting me be a part of helping you guys grow your audiences and spread your messages here. Subscribe, and I will see you guys again tomorrow.